Hello everyone, Anzil here with another game of Hearts Fire and 4. A long time ago in a galaxy far far away, I mean last year, I did a Phalangist Spain tutorial on the Civil War, and I promised I'd do a full playthrough of getting the American colonies back as Spain. Well, by blood alone happened and I never got around to that, but here we are. So we're going to play as Spain, and we're going to take back the American colonies. Now I've done an extensive tutorial on the Spanish Civil War, not much has changed, so I'll just uh, rush through that myself. We'll go for a Great Spain, and we'll take our army, and we'll park it over here. Here's the election event. What I'd like to do always is start with one tick on Valencia, and then try to get Eastern Aragon and Catalonia on my side. When that happens, when I succeed, or if I get them fast enough, then the anarchist will later spawn in somewhere in the south. Secure northern garrisons and we'll do Sin Paquito without Mr. Franco. And here we go. Which, under the leadership of the Falange, we will win. The Phalanx Ascendant is done. This one here with free military factories is only available when the Civil War is going on. So we're going there first. I got Oviedo, that's something. Regarding those offensives, we'll first wait what the AI will do. And they're going for Extremadura, which is over here. And I'll just be nice enough to take this one. Four divisions encircled. And another three units encircled. One hundred fifty PP, and I'll take the silent workhorse. Asturias pocket has been cleared, and we're making great progress on the other side here. Well here come the anarchists. They spawned in the middle of whatever was left of the uh, republicans. Carlos Uprising is um, on its way. Probably not going to finish this off before they spawn. Suspend the constitution. Carlos won't like that. Let's get Primo de Rivera also as our figurehead. Political power gain and fascism supports. That'll do for now. We've got a nice big war support so we can go to war economy soon. And here we go. Ooh, that looks bad. Very bad. Valencia encircled, and the other one too. I said something about war economy. That should be the anarchists. One victory point. Unless they are really lucky. That's Republicans. Actually got some guns off them. Pretty much snaking through the car list now. And we're done. December 37, not bad if I do say so myself. And I got 10 divisions left. Let's justify a war goal on the Dutch East Indies. Now I'm not going to use Dutch East Indies manpower, but I am going to use the Dutch fleet in combination with my own fleet. Very meager as it is, I might be able to pull off a naval invasion of the UK. Don't forget to set Spanish Directory to Civilian Oversight and Basque Country as well, otherwise that compliance will never go up. The default is now Military Governor and that's not what you want. 
going to build a few more dockyards and then go into military factories. I think I can use the current factories to make a decent enough invasion force for the Dutch. And then we'll need to ramp it up for the UK. The reason I'm going for the UK is, of course, the Dominion of Canada, which is my easiest inroad into the United States. There is another way to do this. And that's somewhere over here. Reassert American dominance, where you can puppet or get war goals against the smaller American nations. Now, that actually works. For instance, if you manage to raise influence and get yourself strong enough, you can get Cuba as a puppet. And then just try to take Guatemala. They refuse to get a war goal. The USA guarantees. And you can naval invade. However, I'm more confident I can take the United States from the Dominion of Canada than by this alternate route. Transnationalist Syndicate State is done. We have some uh, options here. We can uh, join the Axis. National recovery is very strong. Gives me a consumer goods boost and some civilian factories. We'll do this one later or bypass it, I'm not sure. Uh, at least do some interesting stuff, but I believe I'm gonna go for these dockyards here because I'm not building that fast. And these are the um, recovery decisions. Probably need those later. Military factories, civilian factories, there's a lot of good stuff here, but I'll go for those dockyards first. Getting lend lease, I'll accept that immediately. I don't need the volunteers. Here comes the Spanish Armada. Moving to Amsterdam, support against Rotterdam. Leeuwarden has fallen. Let's take the rest of the Netherlands and start taking Rotterdam. And we're here. Oh, we got a thousand guns off the, the Dutch. That's better than nothing, I suppose. Puppet the Dutch East Indies. Puppet the Netherlands take war reparations from the Netherlands and I need that Navy so and immediately we are rewarded with more factories and more factories so this was certainly worth it the industry of the Dutch will be put to Spanish use so let's prepare our next invasion everyone back to La Coruña I'm going to need an army to hold the line against France here, uh, also to grind war score. Well, he need an army to grind war score here against Gibraltar. I always seem to forget about Gibraltar, and of course a main force that will invade the UK. We'll start with doing national recovery. Really, there are no really bad choices here. Join the Axis once uh, Second World War comes close. There goes Czechoslovakia. We actually managed to finish up the fleet that we were building. Now, what to build next? I'll take the 1936 destroyer without mines. We have reached a point where we can uh, eliminate the guerrillas, but my infantry equipment stockpile is very low. So you'll see me take one decision until I have more guns. Syndicalized production has been completed and will join the Axis. Poland refuses German ultimatum. 45 world tension? Is that enough? It is. That means I should get the bypass on joint the Axis. Thank you. And now we'll just do. Probably use the stability modifier here. Well, we're ready to join their war. The German British war, and we'll see if the naval invasion starts immediately. Uh, it doesn't. We're not that lucky. But the naval invasion is set to go. We have almost the correct amount of naval supremacy. And at some point, the British Navy will redeploy somewhere. In the meantime, we'll busy ourselves with other operations, such as Gibraltar. And there goes Gibraltar. Now, you can, of course, take Gibraltar. You can also not take Gibraltar and just patiently wait for the AI to put more troops there. 
or of course until the Germans take it for you. Now the other armies will be attacked, they might actually get pushed back a little, doesn't really matter, you're just there to get war score. Getting some good war participation from uh, cleaning out Gibraltar. Don't mind if it takes a bit longer this way. Eventually we'll get through. Ooh, it's a party down here. Let's go. Fall of Paris. That means soon our suffering here will be over. There is France. Vichy France is established, which means we can now trade with Vichy. Meanwhile, we're just killing more Brits and French. And the Germans took Gibraltar. Thanks a lot, guys. Now, in the past, I always went for fascist economic aid and through this war uh, path. But if you go autarky, the bonuses are eventually better. You can go, you go to closed economy, but you can probably just get off that. This one removes the recovering from civil war relatively early, so we'll go for that one. Well, patience is rewarded. We are finally launching our naval invasion, August 1940, which is well within the deadline I set myself. Basically, you just want to win this before the US becomes involved. Set these guys to naval invasion support and see if a few of my guys survive. The rest of the army is over here on France, so we have the shortest route available. Ports are contested, of course, but if you've seen any of my other videos where I take on England, you know the drill. Surround the ports, especially Cardiff, and just support on Bristol as much as you can, and this should be A-OK. -okay. And here we are, Cardiff conquered, let's go. I'm not complaining about my luck, none of my guys got intercepted here. One thing, you've seen Bitter Steel advertise this many times, and I've done it myself, just forgetting about it now. Set your supply hubs all to no support for allies to chase away the Germans before they take London too quickly. Now we got London encircled. Seems my luck has run out. UK is no longer spawning troops in London. That means I can't gather up in their experience or war participation indefinitely. It is what it is. We have enough to get what we want. What we want is Canada. But everything else would have been nice. At least we got a lot more in Italy. We need more factories. But we already got rid of our recovering from civil war and national recovery here. We are truly golden. Minus 3% consumer goods. This truly is the strongest Spain. Land lease. Yes, thank you. No, I don't think anything else is coming. We've killed all the Brits we can. Let's end this and do a peace conference. And here we are. Peace at last. Germans contested me for this peace. Ah, uh, damn it. We have been embargoed by the United States. Well, you know what that means. That means we'll be going after you. Preparing my invasion of the United States. Building lots of infrastructure in Canada. Making all of these railroads at least level 4. Otherwise, supply will be an issue. I split up my new fleets over the uh, Atlantic to hopefully keep some level of supply going. And I altered the main attack template to this. It's um, 811 with some support companies. Alright, let's see what we can do. Justification for Palawan is done. And call in Canada.
encircling quite a portion here. Also important to take Boston for the supply. Such a long way still. And the counterattack. Well, I managed to get to Houston. That's something. And we're finally here. That was a little harder than I expected, but I got there in the end. I couldn't care less. Imperial Spanish Protectorate of America. This is a lot easier than against the Americans. Same template, by the way. Imperial Spanish Japan, some China, and a foothold on the Philippines. Let's take out Mexico. And that's Mexico. New Spain was puppeted. Oh yeah. Mexico was of course New Spain back in the old days. Well, not any longer. Those days are back. Alright, we're heading into Central America, the Caribbean and South America. Also going to just prepare for the case where I fight the Germans. Time to leave our faction behind. And we'll just fire war goal against the Germans. Getting fed up with us. Those war goals are taking far too long. South America needs to be conquered. War goal against Germany is done. I'm really curious how this is going to end up. Well, we should be fine. The template here is, of course, the dreaded Space Marine with medium SP artillery, giving them some nice piercing armor. Well, not the piercing, actually, but great defense. And these are almost unbreakable, especially here on forts and heavy terrain. The Germans are not even attempting anything over here. Maastricht is holding. <laughs> and we also naval invade Colombia, of course. Otherwise, this is just too hard to break. Here goes Venezuela. Gotta say, South America is quite hard when the axes are reinforcing. Leave to the Mexicans to form a civil war when you don't want it. Venezuela has capitulated. You wouldn't know it if there wasn't a message. Oh, here goes our invasion against Brazil. Took out Brazil. Awesome. Professional government of Brazil. Um, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Imperial Spanish Brazil. That's Argentina. Justifying on Uruguay. It's interesting to see what overstacking is doing to the AI tactics. 
you know, not defeating all of those troops, but often they just have to retreat and I can encircle huge pockets every time. Let's take out Peru. And that was Peru already. Only Chile and the Caribbean, Caribbean next. That was the Dominican Republic, and that means this is all Spanish Empire now. Well, that was the original goal of the video. Apparently there is some Argentina left here. Oh well, this is all years of late game fighting, so I'm not showing you most of it. I did manage to invade Italy in several places, took Rome. I don't think Benito will last much longer. I've invaded the German homeland, but it's a tough battle. The casualties, Soviet Union, 10 million. A uh, cool million for myself. And I inflicted 15 million on the Germans, 4 million on the Italians. And the Hungarians and Bulgarians are also always there. Next highlight coming up. There it is, Berlin. Nineteen forty eight, I've been in Italy for a few years now, and Benito is deposed. Look at this, right? Red bubbles. They're actually still pushing me. They have Almost no manpower left on scraping the barrel. They're on 32 million casualties, 20 million by me. Incredible. And still pushing. Most happy about this will be the Soviet Union, who were also at 90% capitulation. One China looking Chinese. Which majors are left? Republica Sociale Italiana, Hungary, Bulgaria, and Vichy, but no one's counting Vichy. Italy and Hungary have capitulated the same day. Civil war in Bulgaria. They could certainly use that. The final peace deal. Well, let's see what mess we have made. One hundred ninety-eight states versus one. Well, they puppeted a bunch of stuff. I think I got my colonies completely cleaned. The Spanish Empire rules the Western Hemisphere and pretty much most of the Central. The East is uh, up for debate. So now we come to the end of the video on the Spanish reconquest of all the old colonies. I admit I went a little overboard. I actually made it a cool world conquest in the end. Not showing any of that, that's even essentially just very boring. And I also went a little overboard on, the, on fighting the Axis. That wasn't really necessary. Once I had taken the Americas, I could just push it south and complete the goal I had set for myself. I just got a little impatient with the long war goal, so I just thought, well, why not take out the Axis as well? You've seen a lot of suffering, but God, believe me, I cut off hours of more suffering for that. Finally, the promise has been fulfilled. I have reconquered all the Spanish colonies as the Spanish Empire. One of my tougher campaigns, I'll have to admit. 
If you liked this video, please take the moment to press the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. I need more subscribers. Hope to see you next time and for now, bye bye. Thank you.